video and we can say dinky do. Don't know what happened. Some of you might have thought I disappeared there, right? But we're back with you. Excellent stuff. I hope it was fairly quick and fairly painless, as they say. Don't actually know what happened there. Very, very interesting. If you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. Little technical hitch there. Very, very strange. And um, we just suddenly lost everybody, as happens. After me singing the praises of the technical side, of course, how good it is. Then that goes and happens. So there you are. Don't know what happened. Did I disappear? Do let me know. So there you are. Get typing. And uh, let me know what happened at your end of things there. Did McClue disappear? All right. Very, very important. But uh, if you need to let me know what's happened. Um, Scotty, my man. Scooby-Doo says Viv Thompson. Um, message me and I'll call, says Rab. Uh, can you give a shout out to everyone that gets involved in the Bridges for Indy and the Shoralba Convoy Group? So there we are. Uh, is that how you actually pronounce that? You're back. Good stuff. Jav Salim says, Dinky do. Uh, yes, something happened, says Julianne. I wonder what happened, Julianne. It just sort of faded in front of me and then came back up and um, start live video. So here we are. And um, no doubt the show will be in two parts again. Bit of a nuisance. Anyway, not to worry. Uh, while we're on the subject, if everybody can get sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing that would be fantastic if you've just joined us right now you're watching scotty mcclue the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster broadcasting live on facebook live as we speak and we'll have some great news for all of you guys hopefully mcclue is heading back on the wireless excellent stuff thought you'd breathed your last a disaster for scotland no no we're here douglas uh, we'll not have to tune in the box for a while, Scotty. Well, as you know, I'm not exactly a dab hand on the box. They are just froze, says Rab Hill. I think if you get a real uh, lot of people watching at one time, it sometimes just freezes. Time, Scotty, to celebrate Scotland's past heroes, says Callum McSwan. James Wilson, 1760 to 1820. Wilson was a Scottish revolutionary and prominent in the radical movement, seeking electoral reform. He was from the town of, what is that, is it Straven you're going to put there? I can't actually see. So, well, of course, 1832 was the Great Reform Act, wasn't it? Marvellous stuff. Carl Carlos Stanley again is back with us. Lost you, says James. Yes, we did. It disappeared. Everybody's coming back. How fantastic is that? Dinky do. We're heading back up to strength again. I found that very strange. Now, how did you all manage last week when we had um we had two bits to the program? That was probably happened uh, tonight as well. So there we are. Uh, wonderful. There's James. Dinky do, James. Excellent stuff. I'll send you a big thumbs up because we're broadcasting live. So I probably won't get into an actual conversation right this second. Now, Murray says, have you been watching the Winter Olympics? Of course I have. I never miss anything like that. Being an athlete myself, you see. Very, very important. Right. Let's see if I can do a bit of sharing. And then maybe all of you could do the same. So I'll go on to that bit there. It's happening as we speak, guys. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And uh, don't know what happened to the video there, but we're back. And uh, that's what matters. Um, Woohoo! Dinky do, says James. James Barry. Fantastic, James. No problem at all. Right, I'm just going to uh, share that one. <coughs> Pardon me. And I'll put, what I'll put is live now. All right, and we'll see if we can uh, tip everybody the wink. So if you can all do the same, guys. Get this program sharing and uh, live now. Uh, so I'll put on the caps lock. Live now. There we are. Wonderful. Right. That's just about to get shared. Uh, pop that in. There you go. Live now. And we'll share it. Excellent stuff. I'll share it with um, Scotty McClue's page. How about that? Fantastic. 
Oh, there it is, live now, Scotty McClure. Just stop with it there. And make a champion speed skater in the pavement round here. Should religion be segregated in school, Scotty? I have a place today, says Kieran Fox. Well, I said, and it caused a bit of a stooshy, but I said that I thought the Catholic Church should actually educate everybody. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be a Roman Catholic to be educated, but the Catholic schools make such a fabulous job of education, and I thought it's something we could pass on. There are you behind with your bills, says Andrew. No, Andrew, not behind with any bills. So there we go. Ryan John Ferrate, hi, dinky do to you. And Michael Paul McVeigh, get yourself on here and say dinky do to Scotty McClue. I'm just going to also share with the group guys so that they are up to date because there'll be one or two people who don't realize we're live right now that this is the big one. Show number 75. How fantastic is that? 75 one hour shows. Now, I know Facebook video, there's millions of them out there, but having said that, how fantastic is that? And it looks like we'll be going back on the radio very, very soon with a big phone in, and that would be excellent as well. I'll just put live now here again. Are you ready? Live now. Right, and that's shared. Excellent stuff. And that's gone into the group. So if you can get into Scotty's group, you'll see that pop up, guys, and get sharing there. Do you agree with the belt in schools back in the day? No, Andrew Duffy, I did not agree with the belt. I got it for talking and laughing. Would you say it's cured me? Uh, evening, Scotty, a bit late. Uh, are you going to give me lines, says Michael Palmer? Not at all. Dinky do to you, says John Reinfeldy. Uh, you're still in touch with your old FM friends, says Rab. Yes, I am Rab. I'm in touch with the universe. Fantastic stuff. And uh, Martin Mohan, Alex McLeish, been appointed the new Scotland manager. So there you are. Right. Excellent stuff. We're not going to go into the minutiae of that live in this program. We would be here till two o'clock in the morning. Um, but you know my thoughts, I think Rangers and Celtic should stand together at the big games and perhaps even look at uniting as Glasgow United. Glasgow United. Neil Hallgate, how are you tonight? Excellent stuff, Neil Dinky do. I think one should sue for getting the belt, says Andrew Duffy. No, Andrew, I think it was of its time and we put it behind us. So there you are, you know. I mean, does that mean people should sue for being hanged in the 1400s? Should William Wallace sue? I ask him. So there you are. I was only asking, says Rab. No, no. Ask away, Rab. Certainly never a problem. Dinky do, everybody. If you've just joined us, a warm welcome from Scotty McClure and the rest of the people in the universe. Um, no, wrong with staying on till 2 a.m., Scotty, says Stephen Wearmouth. I remember. I worked for a radio station, and one night, rather than stop the show, we locked the door and played out all the music we fancied playing. <laughs> and the show went on till midnight. Everybody loved it. So there you are. Uh, can you wish my dad, Alfred Wright, a get well soon? He's in the Western General. He's a bit fed up. And uh, a get well soon will cheer him up, says Edmund Wright. Yes, we do. Alfred Wright, Alfred James Wright, you get strong and well. This is Scotty McClue talking. All right, so there you are. Doctor Who. Um, can I join the Scotty McClue group, please? It's called, of course you can, Carl Carl Stanley. Get yourself on there. It's the most inclusive group on Facebook, I would think. Everybody can join. Everybody who's on Facebook, about 1.8 billion, should also be members of the Scotty McClue fan club. So there you are. Uh, class, says Rab Hill. How's it going, Mr. McClure, says Neil James Mills. It's going absolutely excellent, Neil James. Have you heard? There's talk in the offing, and we may well be back on your radios very soon. So there you are. So we'll see what gives. Remember I told you I've been talking to very senior people, very switched on people who understand the value of Scotty McClure on the radio. Excellent stuff. Uh, God and Sterling still watching. Dinky do. Good for you. Uh, watch out for the new entertainment venue. 
coming in East Kilbride, says James. I love the East Kilbride Theatre, James. Thoroughly enjoy that. So there we go. Wonderful stuff. Keep your messages coming and share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Uh, we've been sharing everything. I'm just going to see if we are in two parts. Yes, it looks like we might be. Oh, that one's come up as well. That's interesting. Your broadcast keeps freezing. It causes the winter, Gordon. So there you are. These things happen. Uh, marvelous stuff. Dinky Doo from Bournemouth says Neil O'Gonley, the wonderful Bournemouth. Very, very nice down there. We like that. And you're near to, oh, you've got some swish property down there. I'll tell you. Excellent stuff. Uh, so there we are. Did you raise your £1,500 yet, Scotty? Says Andrew Duffy. Not quite, Andrew. We're doing quite well. We've got £530, I think it is, on GoFundMe. And we've got uh, a few pounds on um, PayPal. PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. All one word. And if you go to Scotty McClue's website, www.scotty-mcclue.com, you'll see the two logos there. Put yourself a pound or two in. That would be fabulous. Chammy Chammy is watching. Dinky do. Uh, is it acceptable for a woman to openly, openly say she doesn't like short men? Well, I've been, been a bit short myself in my time, Martin. Um, or do you mean size-wise rather than wallet-wise? Um, if a man says he prefers large parts of a lady's body, he would be lambasted. Hello, my dear. You've got a lovely heat there. Fantastic. Uh, hi from Charlie Dinky Do. And uh, would you introduce our gun laws in America, Dunblane notwithstanding? So, Kieran, what are you actually saying? Are you saying bring in Scottish gun laws, ban, ban the guns? Why do we actually need guns? Who hunts nowadays? Who shoots just quite small numbers, really? So why do we need guns at all? Let's get violins and pianos and all that stuff, saxophones. Although I did remember an orchestra had banned the saxophones and, uh, and the violins. And I said, why is this? They said a memo came out to say this was not to contain sax or violins. There we are. Uh, you should set up a merchandise website, Scotty. Says Carl Callistoni. I know. We have the Scotty McClue badge. I came across last week. You'll see it backwards. But that's it, the Scotty McClue badge. And I can remember one of these going for, well, two of them went for an absolute fortune. A charity auction. Uh, phone in on the telly would be better. Yes, Rab, I think so. A television phone in. But we need somebody very switched on in a television company to go, yep, I'm going to give Scotty a go. That is a winner because remember they tried these late night programs on commercial television and they were a wee bit of a flop. That's because they're not actually communicating with you, with the nation, with the people who actually matter. Excellent stuff. Hi there, Scotty. Is your planned return to the airways with a national broadcaster? And would you also continue with Facebook Live? Well, Phil Syme, what we would do if we were on a national broadcast channel, we'd probably incorporate Facebook in the broadcasts in the studio. Or is it better? I mean, I'm not talking about my pus. I know I'm not exactly an oil painting. I'm not talking about my fizzog gear. What I'm saying to you, that's just Anno Domini. You know, I was quite a switcher in my day. Uh, so there you go. But um, no, what I'm thinking, if we were broadcasting live on a national radio channel, would you rather just, it was audio and you didn't see me, right? I mean, you could be quite honest about it because I would only give my viewers and my listeners exactly what they want, okay? Excellent stuff. I hate guns. Get them off the street, says James Barr. It's so interesting to hear an unbiased view and everything, says Kieran Fox. Well, uh, yes, Kieran. I mean, why should I be biased? There you are. We'd rather see you, Scotty, says D. Gurley. D, what a lovely, lovely, lovely thing to see. I have a dear friend, and he is a friend. But he says, oh, dear, no, no, your appearance, your appearance. We can't really be bothered with that. Your voice, wonderful. But your appearance, oh, so I thought, no, that's what I look like. 
if people have a problem with me, that's their problem. So there you go. Scotty, what happened to you being on go in Glasgow? Um, nothing, actually. It's just go didn't launch when it was going to launch. But who knows? Go may yet launch. And if go does launch, then I would like to be part of it. Uh, not a problem, or I would be privileged to be a part of it. Any big radio station like that. I think we should all have separate beds uh, for the old heave-ho, and one for sleeping in peace. No snoring or other bodily noises, says Alfred James Ryan. <laughs> there you go. I know, sometimes I remember staying with friends, and you could hear these missus throughout the house. <sighs> All that going on all night. Late night TV. That's you going back to that station. Carry on. Uh, LBC often do Facebook Live. You can watch your pal Nigel Farage, says David Fraser. Thank you, David. Very kind. Um, I'm glad you know what company I keep. Uh, so there we go. Uh, right. Um, it is certainly, yes. Yes, but we have huge listenership and viewership on here as well. Tremendous. So there you go. Do you know, there's actually been nothing on radio or television to touch the Scotty McClue show. That's not me blowing any trumpets. That's just a fact of life. Interesting, isn't it? So there we go. Right, let's have another share, guys. Time is tight. Moving on. I'm moving you along there. Wonderful. Uh, time is tight. Uh, so it's share time. We're bang on the nose for sharing. Can everybody share, 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 share as much as you dare. There you are. I'm a poet, and I didn't know it. Um, where is Tommy the Cummy? Says Neil James Mills. Do you know, Tommy the Cummy used to follow Scotty McClure around everywhere. Every radio station. Here was Tommy. Hey, you're Trumpy. Hey, all that sort of stuff. I have not seen Heidner here. I have not heard a peep from Tommy the Cummy for years. So there you go. No more pop-up videos anymore, says Robert Devlin. Oh, do you mean the, the quick pop-ups? Oh, on um, on Periscope. Yes, uh, I haven't done much on Periscope for a while. I did pop up with the appeal for funding last week. So you'll see me in a dark V-neck jumper. Watch that and pop something into GoFundMe or something into PayPal. You'll see them at the Scotty McClue website, www.scotty-mcclue.com. You can Google Scotty McClue's website. I've just shared, says Neil Gormley. Neil, I am eternally grateful to you and everyone who has shared. Right, can I see who's watching? Can I have some thumbs up, some hearts, all that kind of stuff? Fantastic stuff. I need to go to hospital now, Scotty, for my results. Wish me luck. So it's Carl Carlos Stanley. Carl Carlos Stanley, I send you strength and I send you love. All right. Good luck with everything. When you get to the hospital, I remember saying to the doctor, can you help me out? He said, which way did you come in, Scotty? Uh, here's a question pertinent, current to me, says Kieran Fox. Docs have advised my mum not gonna live. Oh, Doctors have advised me my mum's not going to live. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Do I accept their prognosis? Kieran, I couldn't comment because I don't know um, what the situation is with your mum's health. I'm not a medical man. And if I were, I wouldn't be able to diagnose her live on the programme. All I can say is many, many, many people prove doctors wrong. And I think living longer than somebody thinks you're going to live is proving doctors wrong in very much the right way. So that's what I would say there. Used to love you and L107 with Tommy and big Bella Free Bothwell, says Neil James. I know I love Bella as well. She's another fantastic person. Can I show you Bella's handiwork? Just give me a second to see if I can show you Bella's handiwork, right? I'll take you over that way. Can you see that, guys? That's Bella's handiwork. That is apparently a decoupage, you call it. Now, I didn't know this till Bella told me 
That's a decoupage uh, of the thistle and the saltire. And that was the lovely Bella Fay Baldwell. So if you know Bella or you hear from Bella and she's about, let me know. Have you still got the fingers of gloves? So Rab, I have Rab. I very often pop them on in the winter. They are good luck from uh, Robert Devlin to Carl, who's going into the hoppy. Is that a ZX Spectrum computer, Scotty? So there we are. Scott Archibald, Dinkiru, Martin. You know Scotty has all the latest equipment, but I need to buy some more. And I put thousands and thousands into radio, hundreds of thousands into radio over the years. And uh, what I would like to see is just get a wee hand. If everybody sent me a quid, it would be fantastic. So there you are. Um, brilliant, Scotty, says Neil James Mills. Brilliant to you, Neil James Mills. You're a very clever man. Can we all share again? Keep sharing and sharing and sharing. Share as much as you dare, I say. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. It's Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet. And we're live on Facebook Live throughout the world. We are at the mercy of the Facebook algorithm. Who gets to see the program? I would like to see it totally de-restricted on a Sunday night at 9 o'clock so that we can get out there to 1.8 billion people. But if every single one of you can do your stuff and send it round all your friends, all your groups, a little bit of typing, type, 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 tap, 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 on your typewriters and say, I'm watching Scotty McClue right now. Right click and take the um, Facebook URL there, facebook.com forward slash scotty dot mcclue dot nine facebook dot com forward slash scotty dot mcclue dot nine that's the big one time flies when we're having fun says robert definitely tough robert and we are always having fun so there you are your pick froze but i can hear you says robert yes that might be your computer robert this time uh you've just got a lot going on there uh, don't get married, just live together and save a fortune on the reception, says Steve Burrows. Well, being a radio man, I'm used to saving money on reception. I can tell you that. One hour is too short. What's your number, says Rab. My number is on there. Uh, you'll get me on Messenger. Let's try that. Somebody should try Messenger. <coughs> Excellent stuff. Another wee sip of the barley water. Mm. Now, guys, have you been sharing and sharing and sharing? I'm going to share the last one as well and let folk know what's going on here. Excellent. There we are. It keeps crashing, Scotty. Oh, for goodness sake. So there we are. We're probably far too popular. That's what I think. Right. There you go. There's the Scotty McClure. Um, share. 9 p.m. Scotty, it's crashing. Right. I'll, uh, I'll keep sharing. And we'll see how we get on. So there we go. Now, just give me a second. Bear with me, guys. I keep moving you around because I'm looking at different screens here. So that's what's going on. Excellent. Thanks very much, James. We'll try and continue the conversation after the live program. Uh, only tight, and she says, a word meaning bottoms. Don't want to get married, says Mary Allen. So they are. Well, it is pricey, Mary. You know? I mean, if you're a single guy, you probably get a wee bit more pennies, unless you marry someone a few quid. Here's Rab calling. Hello, Rab. Can you hear us? Hello, Rab. Hello, Rab. Can you hear me? Here he goes. Here he goes again. Hello, Rab. Hello, Rab. Here's Stephen. Hello, Stephen. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, Stephen. Can you hear me? Here we go, guys. Never know. Hello, Stephen. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me, Stephen? Hello, Scotty. How are you? Excellent. Can you hear me? I can indeed, sir. Oh, wow. How amazing is that? <laughs> Stephen, this is the first, this is one of the first calls that's actually what we had a couple one night. And this is fantastic. Yeah. And can you hear me loud and clear? Yeah, just a check in my phone call, Scotty. 
A what what? It's just like a murmur phone call. Oh, Stephen, that's wonderful. It's lovely to hear your northeast voice. Well, it's the only one I've got, Scotty. I can't put a posh accent on. You don't need to put anything on for here. You just be yourself. Now, listen, I'm going to talk to the folks at home as well, Stephen. Folks, can you actually hear both sides of this call now? Can you let me know? Yeah, so there we are. Uh, Scotty, you've knackered your phone, says Adam Fuller. Thought you were supposed to be on at 10, Scotty, says Neil James Mills. No, no, 9 o'clock. We were originally on at 10. It's all good to hear, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Yes, they can hear us, Stephen. The Excellent. Na the nation can hear us. Wonderful. And where are you? You're in County Durham. Yes, I'm in County Durham, Scotty. County yes, Durham, yes, fantastic. And and your name, obviously, from from the where? It, uh, well, I thought it, it originated from um, the Sunderland area, where the weir ends. Oh, it, right. It actually, it actually originates um, up in the hills, where the weir starts. Now, are you, by any chance, talking Alston? Uh, Alston, Stanhope area. Wonderful. How fantastic. And uh, anyone near Garrigal? No, I'm not near Garrigal. Not near Garrigal. No, excellent no. stuff. So there we go. No, I, I shan't pry. It's just wonderful to hear that. Good. It's, it's good to hear yourself, Scotty. I mean, um, I, I messaged you the other night just about listening to the late night phone-ins. You did. You did. Uh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, and, and, and from my point of view, staying in a lobby for five nights a week, listen, having someone like yourself on a late, on a late night thrown in it was absolutely fantastic. Stephen, do you know that there's a massive, massive world pandemic of loneliness? And part of that, as you know, loneliness has nothing to do with being alone. So you could be a long distance lorry driver and never, ever, ever be lonely. You know, because you just are happy with your cab, your thoughts, your driving, uh, getting on with it, you know, and knowing that you're providing. Or you can have, you could be surrounded by a dozen children and your missus, and you could be lonely. I've actually yeah. been in a room with a friend, and I thought, he's lonely. His family were all around him, and he was trying to phone somebody to discuss something, and he was he was so lonely. And I actually approached him about it later, and I said, you're lonely. He said, I, I do get rather alone, yes, yes. And uh, I said, even surrounded by all the family and those that love you, he went, yeah, that's not really anything to do with it, Scotty. Interesting, isn't it? And I think yeah. I blame the demise of interactive media. I don't think there's enough now, Scotty. I mean, um, I've, uh, it's funny you said that. I've, I've had family members who've suffered from mental health and their partners have been completely alone. Yeah. You, you know, just, just because, I mean, the family's been there, but because there's been no interaction, they've just had nobody to speak to for, for, for days on end. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Stephen, it's been a privilege having you on tonight. This is fantastic. It's like the Wright Brothers' first flight. <laughs> I tell you. I tell you what, Scott, if you see the size of us, you wouldn't see us fly. <laughs> I've got somebody on here that says, best quality so far in all the shows, Scotty. And that's from Ben Lucas. And Ben knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Fantastic. Stephen, take great care of yourself. And thanks very much for coming on. No problem, Scotty. Same to you, Bonnie lad. You take care. It's been a pleasure. And dinky do to you, Bonnie lad. And of course... It's absolutely free to phone, Scotty McClue. Yes, doesn't cost anything. <laughs> Dinky do, Stephen. See you later. See you, speak to you in a minute. Uh, fantastic. Guys, what about that? It says, please rate the quality of your audio call. I'm going to give it five stars. <laughs> that is fantastic stuff. So there you go. So do let us know if you're coming on. We can have a little bit of a chit chat. A very true, Scotty, says Mary Allen. So there you are. Mary knows that uh, you can be surrounded by people and still be lonely. That was really good, says Nivex Fitek. Brilliant, says Robert Devlin. Hopefully this could be a run-up to a phone-in, says Steve Burrows. Yes, Steve, I'm a great believer. If you keep giving people what they actually want and need, they will reward you with their listenership and their viewership. And that's the way the media should be working. 
I know companies that have started radio stations and their content is poor. And they don't get the listeners. And they go, we don't know what's going wrong. I say, well, I do, but nobody's ever asked me. One of the few men in the country that understands talk radio and talk television, public access radio and public access television, par and pat. So there you are. Yep, the audio's good, says Adam. Scotty, call him a clown and cut him off like the good old days. Charles, we might get round to that when we have a few clowns on. But that was a good, decent fella there. On for a chat. Tremendous. So there we are. Here's Rab trying his luck. Hello, Rab. Dinky do. You're through to Scotty McClue on the big one. Can you hear me? We'll see if he gets on here. Hello, Rab. Dinky do. Hello. Can you hear me? Rab? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. Hi. I think you're doing squat in my mind. What's How you doing, Chummy? You dinky do. I am Molly, my mind is full. Yes, I'm absolutely gorgeous. I'm remarkable for you're my nice. age. <laughs> Are you look, you, you're looking well, is it? I'm looking absolutely stunning. I think you do. So there we are. A woman policeman yeah. once said to me, you do know you're staggering. I said, you're pretty good looking yourself in. <laughs> <laughs> so there nice, he was all right. He was bang on, he was bang on, wasn't he? He's back on. He's actually saying this. Stephen McMahon saying, top man, Scotty. Top man to you, Stephen. There's uh, Stephen Weirmouth who's just been on saying, a clown, Scotty. How dare he? So there you are. <laughs> who's a clown? Coco. Well, that last guy was a clown. You're needing your cocoa. Uh, cocoa. You're needing your uh, cocoa. Cocoa. Co co cocoa's a clown as well. Yeah. You know? You're needing your cocoa. I remember, <laughs> I remember I went out with a female clown. And she said, can we take Hi. your car, Scotty? Because when you start mine up, the lights flash and the doors fall off. Oh, I, I used to have my socks. used to wear my socks on the wrong feet. Yes? Any reason? Oh, just to be different. <laughs> I think you are different. <laughs> Dinky do. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, well, See care. you later. Ta -da -la. Right, there you go. Fantastic stuff. So, that's us. We're in business. Uh, that is tremendous. Ha ha. Rab, don't hang up this time. So, exit. Don't hang up, says Mary Allen. Good, Mary. Get him off, Scotty. He's definitely a clown, says Charles McLaughlin. Uh, so, there we are. A McLaughlin. Stephen McMahon. Ha ha. So there we go, Michael McGuigan. It's getting better, Scotty. Well, we are doing our best, that's what I'm saying, but at least now we've actually got access to the public. So you can't beat that, guys. <coughs> wonderful stuff. Uh, I'd have to ask, I like to do, it's wonderful what you have done. So there we are, says Kieran. Kieran, not at all, it's a privilege. And there's a message from Rab saying that he's called me. More sharing, guys. There we are, we're tight for time. We've got about 10 minutes. Let's all share. And uh, we might be able to call it a phone in now. How are you doing, Scotty, says Alistair King. I'm absolutely grand, Alistair. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. I'm just doing some more sharing. Never a dull moment on here. That was fantastic. What a breakthrough this is, says Robert. Robert, it's all work in progress. So there you go. So I shall now put live phone in and share it. Live phone in. Right? And we'll actually share it. Fantastic stuff. Uh, live phone in. No, phone in. Right? And uh, I'll just send that round. There you go. That's gone round right now. Thank you. If you want to give me a call on Facebook Messenger, apparently it's working now. We had a problem last week, a guy couldn't get through, he was blaming my stuff, but um, whoever it was, uh, we couldn't get going. We'll see what's what. Uh, here's Alan Brown calling. Alan Brown. We'll just give him a second to, to come through, actually. Your number, please, Connor. Uh, hello, Alan Brown. Dinky do. Can you hear me, Alan Brown? Yes, I can hear you, Scotty McClue. How fantastic. Now, Alan Brown, would you like to tell not just one nation, but every nation in the world where you are uh, phoning from? I am calling you, Scotty, from Washington, D.C. in the United States of America. How amazing is this? 
We are talking live to Alan Brown in Washington, D.C. in the USA. That is tremendous. I just wanted to, I just wanted to let you know I have been a big fan of yours for a long, long time. And any medium that is going to take you would have a, 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 a brilliant time with you. Fantastic. Because you're an excellent man. And whether we see your face or whether we just hear your voice, I don't care. <laughs> Alan Brown, it is so lovely to hear from you. You sound as if you're originally a Scotsman. Yes, of course. Well, not originally. Yeah, I, I mean, remember still walking some halls with you. Yes, absolutely. And dinky do to you and your lovely family. Thank you very much. Dinky do to you, Scotty. Thank you very Love much. You lots. Love you lots, my boy. How fantastic. Alan Brown from Washington, D.C., live on the Scotty McClure Show. Do you think there's truth about... I don't know what's going on here. Regarding your birth certificate, says Andrew Duffy. Don't know what you mean by that. A late call, says Michael McGuigan. Time to get you on talk radio, McClure, says Neil James Mills. Wow, says Mary Allen. Mary, is this not fantastic? If we can get the numbers up on Facebook Live, I shall uh, see if we can get Facebook to de-restrict on a Sunday night so we can get access to 1.8 billion of you. Uh, do you have a gun collar, says David Fraser. No, David, we don't at the moment. So there you are. Um, I'm not sure that uh, we want to just go there. It's all so raw at the moment, but we could have a discussion on it at some point. Uh, where uh, are you, Scotty, says Stephen Wearmouth. I'm in Scotland, Stephen. So there you are. Originally a Scotsman. Now, originally an American, says Andrew Seeker. Yes, I know, Andy. After I'd actually said that, I, what I really meant was you're originally from Scotland, not that you're originally a Scotsman. So, Andy, we take that on board. You're always a wee bit of a smarty pants, you, aren't you? Always a wee bit ahead of everyone else's game. I know your type. Uh, I was talking about your American collar, says David. Oh, yes. I, of course, David, yes. I could have spoken to him about that. But I'm sure there'll be lots of people watching in Washington, D.C. They just haven't come on the program yet. Um, whereabouts, Scotty, says Andrew Duffy. In, uh, in the west of Scotland, Andrew. In the west of Scotland itself. Uh, lol, says Andy Seager. And lol to you, Andy. I can't remember. You came out with some wonderful smarty pants stuff one day and you had me laughing <coughs> for a long time. I don't know if you can remember it. Has it to snow this week, Scotty? Says Sean McConnick. I don't know, Sean. Uh, we hear how it's going to snow and then we don't hear any more about it. Very interesting. So there we are. Andrew Duffy is in Greenock in the west of Scotland. We have roots all over the world, says Michael McGuigan. Mm. Oh, I'm at the barley water. Lovely. What's your take on uh, Stirling's real name being... I don't know what you're at with that, Jim. It doesn't make any sense. McClure Towers. The Lord stays in McClure Towers. So there we are. We do have roots all over the world. I can remember somebody saying that... Um, I'll just put you all back there so I'm talking directly to you. Oh, that's better. A wee bit more polite. Uh, so there you are. Um, Scott lives in West Terrace. With the rest of the Lord, says Andrew Thompson. Um, love the West, Scotty Dumfries. Tune and a Drossen, says Stephen. Yes, absolutely fantastic stuff. I enjoyed our calls there. Guys, did you like the calls? I thought the audio quality was excellent. So there you are, excellent stuff. So if you want to come on the show, then do come on. We now know that we can go live and that you can hear both sides of the call at home. Is that right? What a breakthrough. How fantastic is that? That means we can get the collars on. So there we are. A black screen and no McClure, says somebody there. Nonsense. There's always a McClure there for you, saying dinky-doo. Now, time is very tight, guys. We're running short of time. That was great to hear from Alan Brown in Washington. Can you finish the show with a song? Enjoy yourself, Scotty, because we all enjoy it says Alfred James Wright. 
What a lovely thing to say, Alfred James Wright. And uh, do you still sign off with you can't throw your granny off a bus, says Alan Brown. Now, Alan Brown's quite right. If you go on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, just put that into your, your search engine, Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, and um, then put into Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, Scotty McClure singing the song. You will get an absolute treat. All right? Because we always finish the program by singing a song, and one of the callers would come on and sing the song, and there was a massive demand for singing the song you could pick and choose. So you'll hear it on YouTube there. I used to turn the cat's eyes off on the motorway. I got sacked because one was off. <laughs> it was a bit of a tester this time, Scotty. Next time I ring, we'll have a debate, says Stephen Wearmouth. Yes, of course. Um, you got one of your friends to call you there, Scotty, says Andrew. Not necessarily, Andrew. Yes, the calls were good, says Gerald Mackay Mackay, who's actually Gerald Mackay. Um, Scotty, get barley water to sponsor you, says Michael Paul McVeigh. I know, it'd be wonderful. This programme is massive, guys. Uh, YouTube channel, spreading your wings, Mr McClure, says Andy Cheeker. Yes, if you put in the Scotty McClure YouTube channel, there's about 350 videos. You can gorge yourself on information, education and entertainment from the first lot of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, my good self, the world's most humble man, Scotty McClure, capital S, small c, O double T I E, McClure, capital M, small c, capital C, L U E. Excellent stuff. There's a moose loose about this hoose. Um, keep up the good work, sir, says Gary Crossan. And you, Gary, thanks to every single one of you for watching. So good of you to put up with it, but you will never, ever, ever get anything on television or radio of the quality of the Scotty McClue show, right? We are high value, high quality content. Excellent stuff. So there we go. Who else have we got on here? Um, Daniel Peterson's watching Dinky Do. Bye for now, Scotty, and we'll see you next Sunday as always. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a fabulous week. Take great care of yourselves. And uh, remember, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue, just for you, live on Facebook Live, saying Dinky Do. Time for the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of waiters, they know. Revoir and a cheerio. Cheerio every day. Remember the shows probably in two parts. Watch both of them equally. Excellent stuff. Nostar. Night, night, everybody. Dinky-doo.